Hey guys, here I am. At, uh, I've got one of my modules out for my G-Scale uh, Modular Railroad. And I was going to do a video today on um, using the static grass. I mean, everybody's seen videos on it, but this is using the longer 12 millimeter um, grass instead of 12 and 10 instead of that, uh, you know, 2, 4, and 6 is what, what's been out earlier. Anyway, I found that using the 12 is a little bit trickier. Um, you can really tell where you start and stop, so you need to make sure that you do all the area you're planning on doing at one time. Uh, here's the area I did about twelve, about uh, a little over a year ago. Um, this has been to like four or five shows. It's been transported. It's been it's been hot, cold, you know, in and out of my trailer, and it still looks good. It's still um, still not, nothing's coming up on it. Um, but this is the. Um, I think it's the wild grass is the color of the main color, the 12 millimeter. But um, what you ought to consider is when you're doing your taller grasses, is um, if you're not looking for a real sparse look, like this is supposed to be a green field. And um, what I did is I took my wild grass, the the main color, and I come back and I had some on hand. Like this is a late summer six millimeter, and also I had a little bit of four millimeter. And what I'll do is I'll mix, I'll get the uh, the 12 in the bag, in a bag, a Ziploc bag, and then I'll go and add some four and some six. And you can um, figure out whatever ratio you like. Um, I just I just mix it at random. But anyway, what it does is it gives you more of a depth. The darker, um, shorter grass makes it look darker down in here and fills it in so you don't have any bald spots in there. Um, another thing here is you can see where it separates the main field and then along the edge here, I've added more of the four and six and less of the 12. So it kind of tapers in and um, gives you a, a, a tapered look to it. Um, but you, you have to just choose what colors you want to use and, and what to mix together. I just kind of use what I had on hand. It turned out really well. Um, I use a, a static grass generator that I made. Um, I found some instructions online. I used a, uh, instead of the 9 volt battery, I'm, I'm using a, one, uh, a 110 volt generator. It seems to be a lot stronger. I mean, it, it really puts out a good static charge. So that, I've been using that. Um, one thing I was going to show you is it may, I, I don't see as much as the 6 and the 4 as I do as the 12, is when you get it in a package, uh, they pack it kind of tight. And when you get it, now I've moved mine over to a gallon size bag. It, it, it comes out and it's in this tight ball. And um, it really makes it difficult. Um, if you try to put it directly in here without in the generator without breaking it up, it will just clump up in the generator. So what I do is first, I take whatever color I'm getting ready to use and, uh, while it's not mixed. And I got to have a big colander or a big strainer. And I'll just take and I will um, take that ball and you, you know, it just stays together. And then I just shake it. It eventually, it'll all eventually go through there and it will come out into the container and it's a lot looser. Okay, so it just kind of falls apart. You need to make sure you get it all apart so, so it goes on well. Um, I, I really you got to try to make sure um, when you're doing an area. When I did this one, I painted this whole area all at one time with the white glue. And I mean, I didn't, if, if you come up here and you try to do half and then do half again, you'll see where you start and stop. So I did it all at one time. I had all my grass prepared. I did, I, I was just continued all the way across and, and it looked really well. So um, what we're going to do now is I'm not mixing any here because this is just looks like supposed to be looking like sparse grass uh, along the uh, railroad track. So um, I'm gonna get my applicator ready and uh, I'll show you how I go about doing it. Okay, here we are back at the module. I've got the uh, grass generator loaded. I've got um, my white glue in a little cup. Now I use full strength white glue directly out of the bottle. I use a brush to apply it with. Um, what I was gonna show you on, on, the grass generator has a negative lead to it. And what, what I generally do is I have a really large area 
um, I, it's kind of hard to see, but I've got a piece of music wire. And what I'll do is I will um, insert that into the corner and then I'll have this really long lead here. I mean, this is probably 12 inches long that I can hook my um, negative lead to and being music wire, I can bend it around wherever I need to. Um, but generally for small areas like I'm doing now, I use just a pair of angled tweezers and I'll hold, lay it in or hold it on the corner of, of the area I'm working in and it'll do a pretty good size area um, down the side. So but, um, when I'm putting it on, I just go ahead and I rub my uh, glue in place and it, I mean, it can be, you know, thick. It, I, I just don't like it running because it'll, um, it um, just doesn't seem to hold as well and the grass will lay over. So I've got, I've got that little area done there. All right. Um, like I said, this 110 volt, if you don't watch, you get your hand down here, it'll really bite you when, uh, with the electricity. So I'm just gonna turn the generator on. And what I do is I start at one end and I'm just really letting it get in. Uh, just Now, this grass is a lot taller and it tries to stick up on the uh, the uh, wire, so you just have to keep moving it, and you just have to really lay a lot out there. You can see all that excess grass. Now that grass is laying over on onto its side, and um, or we just got that on there. We'll cut this off. Now, what they generally tell you to do is walk away and come back an hour later, and then vacuum it up. And what you do is you end up with a lot of little grass at the edge is laying flat and not upright. So what I generally do is I'll let this set two or three minutes, maybe five, and um, then I will, I'll show you here in a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna vacuum it up and it kind of straightens all that up while the glue is still wet. It's got a good enough hold that it's not gonna vacuum it up with the vacuum cleaner I'm using. Um, so I'll come back in about three or four minutes, show you what I'm gonna do here, and, and then we'll go on. Okay guys, it's been about five minutes. What I was gonna show you is, um, you gotta make sure you don't have a vacuum cleaner that's too strong. I've, what I have here is a little handheld, it's the Bissell three-in-one vac. It's got decent suction, but it's not, you know, it's not like a, uh, a regular vacuum cleaner. I'm sure most of you used one of those cordless uh, shop, vac a little hand vac. Anyway, I like this one because one reason it's, gets, it sucks the grass up and it allows me to get it out and reuse it. And I, I use it, you know, just, I keep suctioning up the excess and use it over and over. But anyway, what I do now is I come back, let's see if you can see here, and I turn my vacuum on and I start at the edges and I get the excess up and then I come right over the top Okay, I went right over top. I'm not touching it. I'm getting down to where it gets the excess that's not vertical, either standing up or um, it, it actually suctions it out. And I, I have a good bit of uh, grass in here that will be reused. So now I will go and I'll let this set probably about 40 to 45 minutes. And then I have another vacuum, this the real strong vacuum, and it just sucks the excess up and cleans out the rest. And once this is done, it'll look really well, it'll look really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of this and um, I might show you what it's all done. But um, like I said, working with the longer grass is a little bit trickier. You need to do all your large areas at one time and really think about mixing your grasses together to make it look fuller and not like it's bald underneath. It makes it look nice and green and, and uh, down low into the grass. So um, I'll, I'll probably come back and show you what this all looks like with every all the grass on it, and um, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I, I, I 
on my 14th module going through here and add, going back and adding the dead grass along the tracks, I wanted to show you a couple things I have learned even more than I had before. Um, while doing this, um, I don't know if you if you make your own static grass maker, it, ha it shows you how to make an electrode that actually connects to the um, the metal wire that at the bottom of your um, the screen here. And what happened during that uh, doing this, my the nut and bolt came apart, and the electrodes actually loose in here. And I didn't know that until after I had gotten through doing the thing. And what I found was that leaving that loose, when the gravity will hold it down against this wire here, and also the nut and the bolt I placed inside the container actually makes the grass, it's like an agitator, it gets the grass to, to come through the, the screen a little bit better. Being the longer grass, you have a harder time getting it to fall through the screen sometimes. So uh, it works really well. It, it may, it, I do get a better, um, let's see here, I do get a better, uh, the, the grass comes out better. And, and right here, like I said, here's my electric, I just hold it in place. But you can hear the, the thing agitating in there. Where I was having to pound it more earlier on the side to get it to come out. Now, the grass flows pretty well. Most of the electrode and the nut and bolt in there allows that to come out a lot faster and, and a lot uh, neater. Another thing I've done is setting up for the video here, I, I did the uh, grass all the way across. Now I, I usually do the inside, for, inside, then the middle, and then the outside. But I was telling you, wait three to five minutes to go back and vacuum it up. And I've learned if you're using the full thick, the, the full strength glue, I use the white Elmer's glue, that you really don't have to wait the five minutes. I've been going back almost, I'll get through one end and then I'll start down. The grass sticks really well to the, the, um, the wet glue and you can get everything around you don't want to, you don't want to really lay into it but you can pick up the excess around it and also if you've got the grass if it comes out and the edges are laying over it does pick it up so you don't have to wait the three to five minutes so i'm just going to go back and get the middle Okay, you see I went through there really quick. I uh, you guess you couldn't see on the other end. But anyway, it allows you that grass on the edges tries to lay over. And if you um hit it with it now, like I said, this suction's not as hard on this as it is with the regular uh shot vac. It allows you to pull that grass up a little bit. I'm not losing any grass out of my spots in, in 30, 40 minutes it'll be it'll be set in stone, it won't it's not gonna go anywhere. But uh, it does lift it up and um, on the edges. And like I said, I'll go back with a better vacuum cleaner and get all the excess. But um, that, that works pretty fast. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll give you a view of the whole thing when it dries. Because I said I'd do that earlier. Uh, but I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's a picture or video of a, uh, one of the modules I did earlier. Um, you can see that all the uh, glue's dried. You can't tell where you know the goes from uh, goes from the dirt to the grass. Uh, looks, 
I think the, col the color's a little bit washed out from uh, the video, but it looks looks pretty good. Um, it worked really well for me. Um, I've got it all in place, got it all vacuumed out, and uh, it's kind of what the final product would be. Now, I did have some grasses that I put in there by hand. They're a little taller. That would make a good, um, you can see some right, right there that was there before, and I put grass around it. And I've added some by hand here and there. But anyway, um, I think the static grasses uh, uh, look really nice. It'd be interesting to see if they come out with any longer. Uh, the half inch stuff, you're really pushing it for a short in the G scale stuff. Um, but it's the only thing I've got to work with unless I want to do it all by hand. I figured I'd try it out and see how it does. Um, I hope this video helps. hope it encourages you to use some of the static grass and especially the longer stuff. I, I, I really enjoyed um, working with it and it works really well. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, visit me on my website, tiesplains.com, and there's an email address and a phone number there. So I uh, hope the video has helped, and have a good day.